Derek, 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 Derek. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, okay you got it. it. Yeah, the Ghostbusters theme. Ready? It's like, that's Inspector Gadget. No, it's no. It's dun 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 dun. Life is like. I guess that's not it either. Yeah. It's driving me crazy over here. It's freaking Ghostbusters. Dig it, did it, did it, did it. Dig it, dig it, did it. Ghostbusters. Freaking moron. We're back, Break Room Blitz. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. I'm my boy Khan. Thanks for watching. This episode, we're going to be talking about Ghostbusters. 2016 Ghostbusters. Busted. Not sure if we needed it, but uh, here we are. So, all right, let's get into it. Let's do a little rundown. So, pretty much what it's about is we got new Ghostbusters, all women, and they just pretty much start over. And it, in this case, there happened to be an actual guy that was a bad guy. Right. Um, but it was, it was just Ghostbusters. Yeah, it was so, a gender bender Ghostbusters cosplaying event. <laughs> right. So it's not a lot. You already know. If you've seen it, then you already know what Ghostbusters is about. Yeah. So we have Melissa McCarthy. Mm -hmm. We got Kristen Wiig. Mm -hmm. Very funny. Uh, we got Kate McKinnon. Leslie Jones. And Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> Thor. <laughs> Thor, pretty much. It's uh, <laughs> idiotic Thor. <laughs> um, He's bimbo Thor. Yeah. So, yeah. so basically the roles were eternally reversed because, you know, typically what they do to women in film where they make them the receptionist and do their thing with them, they reverse the whole thing. The women were the key elements and the dude was the, the ditzy doofus. Yeah. Did you guys like that? Oh, I, sorry, I liked it. I liked it, yeah. You did? I, th I thought it was cool. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. This whole like we're all equal thing. I didn't feel that. I felt like they were pretty like male bashing <laughs> yeah. a lot. You know, he I, was like, super dumb. He was dumb. He, he, he was, was a dummy. Like, yeah. He was the dumbest person I ever seen on TV. Yeah. It doesn't even describe. It doesn't actually even describe. Like, I mean, if you have the dumb blonde scenario, it, it goes beyond that. Way beyond <laughs> dumb blonde. I didn't think yeah. he'd get dumber yeah. than that. I'm like, <laughs> he's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. He's mentally challenged. <laughs> Sorry. It, it was funny though. Like I mean, it was. I think the fun part about it, it was. It was a different kind of dumb, which I guess it. it, it it's cool. It, it played to that it, like, it oh, worked. you're nice to look at, yeah, but you, you're, you're useless. <laughs> yeah, and they really actually did that. She was like, she's like, who cares? Just hire him. He's an idiot, but he looks good. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, she's pretty. You know, I, as a man, I'm offended. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> she was real thirsty. Oh, well, she. <laughs> uh, my eyes are up here, <laughs> between my glasses. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So, did you guys think that the movie needed to be made? I didn't think the movie needed to be made, but I enjoyed it, though. You did enjoy I, it. I thought it was fun. Um, you know, certain parts were like, uh, that failed, that failed. But you know what? Overall, it was, it was cool. It was okay. Uh, I knew that they were going to make a third one anyways. When, when he was alive, Harold Remus was going to make a third one with all the original cast. and uh, That would have been cool. Yeah, that was the goal, actually. That was the goal. And uh, after he passed... They ditched it, but the production company wanted to go through anyway, so they made made it anyways, with an all female cast. So I mean, um, did we need it? Not really. Did it do well? Honestly, I was I went in there with lower than low expectations, and I was expecting <laughs> yeah. Batman versus Superman meets Independence Day. Oh jeez, thus <laughs> huge poop yeah. emoji. And um, no, I didn't get that. I actually I really enjoyed the movie for what it was, yeah. and I have I have some justification. It was funny, but yeah, I yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. I, you know what? I didn't think it was necessary. After after watching it, it wasn't bad. Okay. It wasn't yeah. bad. It wasn't good. But it wasn't great, I should say. It didn't, say. like, <laughs> wow me. Right. You know, it was just a remake of what I've pretty much already seen, except for maybe different jokes and a different cast. But it was pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Um, it was a reboot of an origin story, really. Right? Another, another, another reboot origin story. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, you know, I, well, actually, even then, but the thing is, like, this movie lacked story. If this, if this actually, I would honestly say that what carried this movie 
were the the honorings to the old cast and the female cast. Itself. What do you guys think about the the cameos? Did you like the cameos with the old original cast? You know, you had about five people in there. Uh, okay. Well, the the cameos. I, I okay. I like that they put the cameos. You, you need to honor, you know, where you're coming off of, yeah. you know, from from these Ghostbusters movies. But um, uh, I just feel like uh, they didn't execute it well. No. No. Wow. I, I just feel it didn't execute it well. Yeah, because if, if you're gonna Put a cameo in there. Um, I, I just feel the story for it, it should have been a handoff, a passing of a torch of some kind, and I didn't get that. It was just kind of like, oh, oh look, it's it, it's it's one of the original cast. It's Bill Murray, and he's kind of goofy. He's out of it. He's not a Ghostbuster anymore. And I kind of wanted him to still be the Ghostbuster and be like, I don't do that anymore, kid. It's you. You go ahead. You know, kind of thing. Right, so you would have wanted like. People would have forgot about the Ghostbusters, and then some event would have happened. These new people would have came, went to the original Ghostbusters, and, and said, "Hey, what do we do here?" And they just pass off the torch. Uh, that better. It's something, something as far as like uh, not an origin story, but a continuation of a story, but a new, uh, new, almost precinct, a new kind of uh, uh, you know. You know, new cops, new right. fire, new Ghostbusters, new basically. generation, new generation. This is how we yeah. do it. Yeah, exactly. What, what did you think? Um, the cameos were alright. I wasn't too impressed with them. Uh, Dan Aykroyd was the best. I actually really enjoyed his because he he was very he, he was Dan Aykroyd. Um, but I didn't like Bill Murray's. Um, yeah, I, they were okay. Sigourney Weaver was alright, but. Oh, actually, I did like the Harold Ramis statue. That was kind of cool. That to see. was cool. The statue I'm was really cool. I'm yeah. glad they they paid. I'm overall glad they paid tribute to it. That poked my heart. <laughs> you're right, but I felt like um, more or less it's like it's just like the other things that they've been doing to amp up this movie, such as like the, the Kobe Bryant Ghostbuster thing and all that other stuff. It's just like it, they fed into that because they realized this movie without those elements would have probably dropped really bad. Man, I was so worried about that because they did have Kobe Bryant. He was a terrible ghost person. Even how he was running to the, uh, to the helicopter. I'm like, what's wrong with you? Is something wrong with your knees? You got home? Yeah. It was just a bad scene. But I was like, oh, man, they got all these different... And they were doing like commercials, like the, the, the female uh, actresses, they were doing commercials and stuff. I'm like, oh, man, this is going to be bad. And no one was even in the theater. We went. No one was in there. It was yeah, empty. It was it was empty. Yeah. Well, we went on opening night, but well, I would think yeah. that people would want to go. But yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I didn't mind the cameos. I I felt that it was a, a a slight touch. Like okay, we are handing it. We are approving. We're not handing it off. Right. We're approving this movie. We're approving these actors to hand off whatever torch they're going to handle, and they'll they'll do it their way. But. We don't need to be involved. It's a real reboot, but I approve it. Right. You know, so I did like, I liked um, Bill Murray's uh, character. He was, because he, he was the only one I was like really in it. Mm -hmm. He had like some type of purpose and role. I thought it was like, I thought it was terrible that they killed him off though. <laughs> oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, the fact that they're even in there is spoiler because no one really knew that they were going to be in it. That was one thing I was worried about. I was like, if the original ones aren't in it, I don't want to see this movie. I was actually surprised that each one of them was in it. Yeah, like, right. Like, well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I feel like they did it as a full tribute. They needed to make sure that they were all in there. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it felt like a full tribute. I would have liked to see um, Rick Moranis. I would have liked to see him in it. Yeah. I haven't seen him well, in nothing. It, absolutely yeah, nothing. Like, not not a since long like time. the, the like 80s. Do you, you know, guys know when... the story behind that? No. Um, so after, I think it was My Blue Heaven, um, his, uh, his wife passed. And um, he always grew up with a family that had the parents at home. So he wasn't going to let his family go let, go without. So he quit acting to make sure he was a at-home parent oh. and therefore his children. And since mm -hmm. then has not gotten back into acting. They, they, they were actually... Uh, How old is this kid? It's time to get out. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. You know, we, we, a lot of people thought he was going to come back. Actually, for the Ghostbusters reboot with, with Harold Remus, um, th there was rumors that he was actually going to come back and everyone was super stoked about it. But once he passed, he... He didn't do it. I would have really liked to see him. He's one of my like favorite childhood oh, actors. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All the horrors. Oh my god. Right. That's my. That's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> and then we have the, all the Honey I Shrunk and Blue Up and yeah. all those kids. All the kids. Getting awesome. Drunk. Yeah. You know. Great. So like the graphics for that time was really good. Yeah. Like, right. Baseball. Yeah. It was so believable. Oh, space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spaceballs yeah. for sure. All right. So what are the, some of the things you guys liked about the movie? So we did like it. I did like it. Uh, I, 
uh, okay, so a, a couple of things that I did like about the movie. Uh, it was goofy, you know. I got a sense of like, uh, I, I could see like some of these characters, you know, acting a little nutty, you know, a little nutty science professor kind of, you know. Right. And it, it did give me like kind of like a, a old school '80s kind of vibe to it too. Um, and uh, I like that they use like a, a all women cast. That was actually pretty cool, you know. I, I get that they're trying to, you know, you know, have like you know more, you know, female audience, you know, being incorporated, you know, like. If humans could do the same thing, and I like that they had you know new weapons and stuff. That was pretty dope. The new weapons were really. I good. thought that was cool. You know, they not just really like the cool. old school things, but you yeah. know they got you know grenades and all this stuff. Right, that's what I was saying. Like they Something they different. approved it and they're gonna do it their way, right? And not just proton packs. We got proton pistols and right. bullets or grenades and stuff. I thought that was really cool. I right. did like that for sure. Yeah, so I like that, and uh, yeah, I mean, they had pretty funny jokes, you know, and. They did. Yeah, you know, for 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 the most part, it, it was it was fun. It was enjoyable. Yeah, know? yeah. No, I definitely enjoyed some of the new characteristics of the movies. The, the new weapons were actually really a lot of fun. Um, usually, you wouldn't accept new things in the uh, Ghostbusters world, but they did a really good job with it. Um, Leslie Jones and uh, like Leslie Jones and Kate McKinney played uh, Holtzman. Uh, by far favorite character, but the, she came up with all the weapons and oh, she and, was the engineer, right? yeah, and, yeah. and just like that, the, the mold it was, it was fantastic. Um, but there were quite a few things I liked about the movie. I liked the color scheme actually. I liked the music. Um, it, it's been nice to hear rock back into film again because for the longest time it's been a lot of R and B and hip hop, which isn't horrible. But I like the variety. I don't like having yeah the rock um, music that they did use it, it did seem appropriate for yeah, the ghosts that but, they had yeah, in that, well, they, in they that was, scene. They also had like <laughs> retro takes on everything, so you're kind of getting this old kind of like um, what's that? I don't want to like not that, that the pop song, but it's like um, not a rockabilly song, but it's got got that tone to it, like that jumpy yeah. blitz tone. Kind of some and, you know why huh? it was appropriate because it was a demonic scene. It, so that's why it that much. works. The, the scene, it, it, you can't the have scene, like yeah. hip hop in that type of scenario. Right. And some dragon demon ghost flying around. Yeah. <laughs> right. But I so, mean, for that, it was good. And Ozzy Osbourne, you know, made a little cameo. <laughs> and I like the ghost a lot better. I like the, I like the ghost better than the, ghost the original great. one. Yeah, the I graphics, like the, also the color cool. scheme of everything, they made them very, very vibrant. Very vibrant. And yeah. it, it the was, lighting on it, too. At first, I was like, I don't know if I like this, but then as you go through the movie, it's it's like it's it, you feel like there's two worlds merging, um, mm-hmm. and you know the the uh, uh, what's it called uh, Leslie Jones's character too. The one thing I liked about her character in a whole was she didn't seem to me like the typical black woman in film. She seemed to me like the person sitting in the chair watching the movie because it's like sometimes you're watching a scary movie and you're like, why are you going in there? Like I'm not gonna go in that room. That's what she was. And I'm like, finally, they put someone with realistic like reactions. <laughs> right. You know, you walk into a room and you see all these scary. Like, I'm not going. In. I don't care if I'm a Ghostbuster and I got the gun. So I'm out of here. Yeah. Like I would do that. I'm like, I'm not going for him. Get out of here. Right, right. And, right. Um, I like that. So, um, and then just uh, Holtzman, by far my favorite character of the entire film. If if these women carried this film and made it what it was, and I do respect it for what it is. Yeah. As dumb as Hemsworth. Was in the movie. <laughs> he was, he was funny. He, he was, was fun. pretty sorry, funny, was like from start to finish. Honestly, for me, if he wasn't in that movie, it wouldn't have been as good. Yeah. Uh, I liked a lot of. I did not like the score though, but I did like. Um, it was funny right off the bat. You know, it wasn't yeah. like a whole bunch of build up. You know, things just leading up to what we're gonna like. It was funny right from the beginning. Yes. To end, it was it was it was funny. Um, I liked. Uh, the girls had some really good chemistry, I thought. Mm-hmm. Um, none of them were that cute. I didn't, you know, uh, <laughs> none of them were that cute, but I liked the little chubby one. I forget, I forget her name, but uh, I liked her. Her little jumpsuit, she's running hard, girl. Like, you do your thing. Melissa McCarthy. But she's ready. Right. Melissa, when she's yeah. running through uh, the city, when they got their proton pack, right. like, all right, girl, you with them. Because yeah. everyone else is all skinny, so I'm like, because I'm kind of, I'm... I'm a little husky, so I, I root for the husky ones, you know, so, but, uh... <laughs> well, they really filled that character of the yeah. old-school Ghostbusters. They weren't the fittest guys. They were no, kind of no, like no, the no. average Joes, yeah. you know, scientists. Yeah, so. you're right. So that was perfect. Definitely. So, what are some things you guys did not like? Because I know this is not a perfect movie. Yeah, um... It, it didn't fit my hero-to-villain complex that I'm usually shooting for, the villain this. 
Oh, had man. a really horrible backline story. It was too terrible. Yeah, he wasn't for me. good. Yeah, yeah, that I, was kind of weird. The ideas to to doing for, for what he did were awesome, but the the villain and the end villain just it, it, you know it didn't meet the iconic you know slime or Vigo you know from the original movies. You didn't you didn't get that, so it just it didn't work. Um, and uh, outside of that, I yeah, have to agree with that. Yeah, because yeah. you know what. The whole time when he's planning things, people were like coming up to him and high fiving him and actually embracing him as a person. Right. He just ignored like, no, because when I was a kid. Yeah. But, but now look at how everyone's treating you. Right. Yeah. I mean, his his job didn't treat him that well, but he cleaned up crap for a living. So right. You know that was kind of his fault. Yeah. But everyone else seemed to like kind of interact with him. I was like, ah, oh, you see that they like you, so mm-hmm. let's just get over it. Yeah. Let's grow up. Yeah, and be a productive, you know, person. It, it just would have been better if he was like a, a very vindictive, like mad scientist. If they would have did that, it could have been more fun because they could have just made it that he studied so much on ghosts that he wanted to resurrect them. He wanted to cause havoc just because that's who he was. Right. And yeah. It wasn't like that. It was the transformed, uh, transformed villain, you know, type of thing. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. I was like, yeah, okay, this is what they're gonna give us. I don't like when they try to make me sympathize with. The bad guy. Like, yeah. oh, this is why he is the way he is. Is when he grew up, he had a terrible family, terrible upbringing. He was bullied in school. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, I don't care about that. But right now, he's trying to kill everybody else. Right. So yeah. why not just make right. him like right. really right. want ghosts and just like like right. I That's want all the ghosts. This, yeah. I'm gonna change the world. You know. Right. And people yeah. will know who I am or whatever it is. Right. You know? I don't sob stories yeah. about why I should feel sympathy for you. Yeah, make him like yeah. Yeah, make me feel that like okay, this is the villain. I'm against him for sure. You know, right. kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was kind of weird. Uh, that's one of the things I didn't like. Some of the jokes did fall flat for me, though. <laughs> I will say, as much as I laughed, I equally was like, huh. But you guys were laughing when I wasn't laughing. I was like, well, I guess that's funny. That's what I have to say. For me, though, you know, some of these jokes fell flat. Like when they were like listening for that and like it was like a fart noise or something. And I was like, oh, uh, you could have done that better. The execution yeah. on it was not there. Yeah. And that's but, what but, but when she said it came, well, how would you feel if it came from the front? That was kind of funny. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. <laughs> And they cleaned it up. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you shouldn't have to backtrack your jokes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and, and, and then the music. I know you said the music. And the music for me, like, when they played, like, all right, we got the Ghostbusters music, but, like, right, in a new, new, age one. new pop rock or whatever yeah. it was, I was like, I think it was oh, Fall wow. Was it Fall Boy that did it or something like that? I don't it, know. It, it should have never did it. Uh, yeah, Just it, use the same track. Yeah, yeah. At, at the end of the movie, when they had the credits, you know, it sounded like it was like a re- right. Re- I felt like it was like, in. I was like, yeah, there, movie here now. we go. All right. So I mean, aside from the movies, I would just have to say the last thing. It kind of felt a little laggy at the end, and I think that just has something to do with what I felt about the villain. Uh, where you know, the villain, he, 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 he's out of the scene, and then he comes back, and that was kind of like, I think that that could have been edited a lot better, just to kind of like. Uh, come closer to the end because for me it just felt laggy. Uh, we kind of lagged in a certain part towards the end of that movie where it just kind of went on a little bit too long. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, when it comes down to the storyline, it didn't. It just didn't measure up to a Ghostbusters film. Mm-hmm. Uh, the story just wasn't. And that's why I'm like, if Holtzman, uh, Katie wasn't in the movie and Leslie wasn't in the movie, I honestly feel like the other, um, you know, uh, McKinney and. Uh, a Kristen Wiig, uh, I feel like it would have felt really short. Um, those two characters, sure. I believe, caused the most dynamic in the film. Um, well, actually, Chris Hemsworth as well. I think those three by far cr- caused such Chris a unique Hemsworth. character. He, he, I mean, was I think yeah. everyone did their 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 part. The the person that the blonde chick, the um, the engineer, engineer. Yeah. I think she was going overboard too much. Oh, she was goofy it. though. She was. Uh, I, I was like, right. okay, okay, we know you're like a <laughs> cool one. I got it. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. Like, um, I, I just I thought it'd be, it because it was so far out there. It just it was kind of refreshing because it was like it, I didn't feel like she was overacting, and I was like sometimes I was looking at her like I was like, damn, you're like way out there, and yeah. But that that's what she, that's what her job was. That that's what her character was. The fact that I felt that I'm like, I'm really feeling this character, and you know the weapons and that one scene yeah. where she pulls out the freaking doubles. I'm like, I, right. I, you know what you are, you do look. I, I had a moment where like she had this angle. They had her at an angle and she's looking, and I saw what the actors looked like without 
you know, the, the, the weird hair and everything, and she's attractive, and I'm she's like, cute. you're actually looking <laughs> cute right now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got this nerdy thing going <laughs> yeah, for you? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll take it. Like, right. um, she, <laughs> she likes guys, though. <laughs> In the movie, anyway. <laughs> um, you know, all I had was just some nitpicks. Yeah. Really? All right. Uh, it wasn't a bad movie. I'm not going to say it was bad. Mm-hmm. It was a pretty decent movie. Mm-hmm. But there were some things that I felt like they thought they was going to, like, slide past me. Yeah. And not going to happen. Okay. So, like, when they first bring out the car that's, like, refreshed, so they all come down. Oh, right. And all of a sudden, the car comes out of nowhere. Er, let's get in and go. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Where'd that come from? <laughs> yeah. That's another part where they're walking in the alley, coming back from, I forget, some job they did. Or coming back from the um, the mayor's office. Uh-huh. They're walking in the alley, and all of a sudden, they walk up to a whole uh, table full of new equipment. And she's like, okay, this is what we got. Right. Some new stuff. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. This is just sitting down in the alley the whole time? Exactly, or yeah. What's going on here? So, so yeah. there's a few things that yeah. I feel like they try to slide past. And then all of a sudden, they get a garage with a car. Right. And they're just like, <laughs> like we, we got the top of the China Chinese food spot, and we got their garage, too. Right. Yeah. I'm like, hmm, like where was this at? It's when a you... little bit too convenient. Right. <laughs> and you know what's funny, though? Is I'm noticing a pattern. How many of those movies have we seen lately that they've been jumping around like that? It, it, literally, it's like, a lot almost of editing, like the past yeah. fifth movie, the five movies have been just like that. I mean, Warcraft was all over the place. Warcraft, Independence, uh, Independence Day. Day was yeah. all over the place. And it's just like, you know what? Like, I understand in the film industry, you got to make it a certain amount of time. But you know what? Edit the transitions correctly. Make it fluid. Don't, don't I mean, it just like, and then I have to wait and pay for an extended edition so I can feel happy with the movie. If you put it in there from the get-go and people are happy with it, then you're going to make more money and then you don't have to bitch about it. So, like, you know, you had to put an extended edition of Super Batman vs. Superman for people to remotely appreciate it. And it's it's yeah. sad. It's really I don't see sad. how you would, because he's still going to call that uh, big monster Doomsday. Yeah, yeah, yeah what I'm still going to call him Doomsday, so I, I don't care how long the movie is. Yeah. As long as he's Doomsday, <laughs> that's a wrap. I'm done with that. Yeah, you just got a bad story. All right, so we're going to do, some, do something new here. Uh-oh. You get like 30 seconds to a minute. It's our blitz <laughs> part, break room blitz. Ooh, 30 right. seconds to a minute to say what you thought about the movie overall and the rating. All right, go. All right, overall the movie was done well. Music was great. Color schemes were awesome. Characters, for the most part, were great. Cameos were all right. Um, and the hero to villain complex, it, you just didn't do it for me. The, the villain just did not make it. I'm sorry, period. It just That's your story and your villain lacked. The movie, I've been going back and forth on this. Uh, because of the nostalgia and because I appreciate what the actresses did and because I do appreciate a couple of the other things in the film, you are going to be getting a six and a half from me. Um, it, it was almost a seven, but you're getting a six and a half. And I look forward to the next one and I hope it's more original. All right, Don. Go. Yeah, you know I have uh, to agree with you on a couple of things. The movie was goofy. It was funny. It was uh, something new in kind of a reboot, reconstructed way. Um, I did like that. But again, some of the things did fell flat for me. Some of the music. If you're gonna reboot uh, such an iconic franchise like this, you gotta incorporate some of these uh, older characters. You know the original cast. And for me, the way that they executed that was not well. I really wanted to see a different storyline where it was a continuation, not a reboot, where they could have had like, okay, this is a new group of people, this is a new precinct, we got like a passing of the torch from the old guys, I can't do this anymore, I'm gonna break my back carrying this old backpack, you know? It's like, here you guys go, do something with this kind of thing, you know? And then we got some funniness out of that too. So, I mean... For what we had in this, it, it was kind of, you know, new new school, something for the new generation, uh, something for, you know, girls that are nerdy and want to get into something like this. This is for them. And overall, it was a good movie. It could have been done a little different, but, you know, I'm overdoing these reboot origin stories. As far as my rating goes, you know, uh, I, I have to give it a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10? Yeah. But but it, but it's a it's a it's a light you know, light light five out of ten you know what I mean it's not it's not a hard you know it's all right like, I'm not trying to punch through it <laughs> so what I got from the movie was I think that kids are definitely gonna like it they're gonna like it especially if you're growing up the first time you ever really saw Ghostbusters you're gonna like it it's gonna be your new generation 
Um, I, I'm, I think that there was some things that were lacking, but you know, I think they did try. I think we, they kind of forced it upon the people. Right. We didn't. I didn't think we really needed it. Let the mm-hmm. kids watch. You know, the the Classics. '80s ones, right? The original. Um, but it was funny from beginning to end. So I did like that. I did appreciate that. You guys are gonna laugh right away. Um, there were some things I didn't like, you know, I didn't like the male bashing. I thought the vernacular was way over the top as far as like, you know, the <laughs> verbiage they were using. I'm like, oh my gosh, do, do we have to talk about this the whole time? <laughs> we know you're scientists. I get it. I know. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I felt like they had the token black person. Um, she, of course she was the MTA driver. So I didn't like that. You got all, all these doctors and the MTA driver, right. but whatever, you know, if it's going to be new, I would rather it be new. You know, because black people are scientists and doctors too. So, but whatever. Um, But overall, I think that it was fun. I think that kids would definitely like it. I know if I had like someone that was 13, they're going to like it. Yeah. So, kudos to that. Um, I like the the new stuff that they did, you know, because it it brought their own twist. Kind of like if you're going to sing a song that someone's already sung, Mm -hmm. you want to bring your own version of it. You know, so someone would be like, oh, he's copying it. It was no. He, he made that song there. I felt like they made the movie theirs. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to have to agree with you still, though, with the 6.5. Alright, that's right I around that ballpark. I can't really... Uh, you can't bash it too much, though, because if you like it, you like it, you know? And I, I think this is a movie that, it's an easy watch, it's good for, yeah. a fa- it's a good family movie. It's a good, funny family movie, though. And you know what, there were some things that kids shouldn't be listening to. Like, the part came from the front. <laughs> but that was a little... You know, some of them won't even get it, though, so yeah. that's fine. Yeah, that, that, that's going to be, like, right over there. Maybe, night. I don't know. I don't know. But, all right, guys, so that's our Blitz right there, Break Room Blitz. Uh, I think we're out. I think we're good. Anything? You guys have anything else you want to... No, I'm just, I mean, just going to toss out to the, there was, McKinney. But you know what? Okay, one last thing. Stay towards the end of the credits if you really want to see oh, something yeah, special. Yeah. Don't, bu- don't buzz it. Just... Stay at the end of the credits. At the end of the credits. I'm talking about when the whole credits roll. There's a, a post credit scene. It might be something for you. I don't know what you I would about say that. go home. As soon as you see the first credit go up, the first name, Cass, go home. No, uh, don't do that. Don't do that. If they say go, it was just fun. stay and stay. If, if, I, I, if you like the whole movie, if you saw, uh, sat through the whole movie and you liked it, I would say stay at the end of the credits. You might like it. Ladies, if you want to see Chris Hemsworth dance in, in his, his gorgeous display <laughs> watch the credits i think just he liked it yeah. <laughs> but i wanted to dance i want to be like huh. you know yeah. like it was, no just, but the credits I did, you know respect the movie for what it was it is. goofy and everyone that contributed to making it so um watch it and stick around for the end and i'm just gonna give a shout out to kate mckinney because i i loved her character i freaking loved your character please call oh. him <laughs> yeah call me seriously <laughs> well we'll go have a hamburger <laughs> all right guys we're out i'm d'anthony i'm Conch. You want know, to break room blitz? Like, subscribe, share us with your friends, give us any feedback to what you want, you know, because we want to do what you guys like. And if it's something we shouldn't be doing, let us know as well. All right, we're out. Take care, guys. Peace. Peace. I think I'm piecing this together. I think I got it. You got it? Yeah, I think I got it. I think I know what spirit animal I want to be. Spirit animals again? Yeah, man. <laughs> you keep bringing this up. But have you ever thought about it? Like, what spirit animal you would want to be? Fine. We will talk about your spirit yeah, animals. Yeah, man. If I was a spirit animal, I would probably be a sexy black panther. Me, I come in peace. You know what, dude? If they're bing, bang, boom, fine, I'm phoning home. I'd be like, welcome to Earth. Come on, baby.